Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Now something else in the process of sitting here, now I can just reuse this with what wax is in it. I just put it off to the side. Let it cool down, put more wax in it later. I've noticed that my little tea candle is completely wet. All the wax on the inside of it is completely uh, melted down. So I'm going to set this stuff off to the side for a minute. And I'm going to try something. I got a little piece of wire. And a little bit of the Maya dust and I'm gonna blow this out and pour the Maya dust in there and uh, blow the candle out pour the Maya dust in and shove it down in there you can't see it but I'm not having to shove it down in there. The Maya dust is uh, absorbing itself. I mean, it's getting absorbed into the wax for the most part. And it's going down on its own. I just don't want to put too much in at one time. So I might end up with a pretty neat little fire starter here. There, I got to move it around because I got a big clump that came out. I want to make sure I keep the wick up and it doesn't seem to be changing the level of the wax that much, even with the volume of the Maya dust that's going in. So this might turn out to be a pretty good little fire piece here. Oops, where'd my, where'd my wick go? I can get my wick to stand back up. Alright. Oops, now it's holding it. Oh, my wick came out of its holder down there. Ha! <laughs> yep, the wick came completely out. Oh well. So I'm going to leave it out and just pack this thing full of Maya dust and we'll see what we get. The Maya dust along with the wax should be pretty good. And I had a little, uh, a little, a lot of comments on my last Maya dust video. People kind of asking what Maya dust was. And all it is is uh, resin impregnated pine tree wood. When the pine tree dies, yeah, a lot of the resin will go up into certain portions of it, like a branch that's sticking out. It'll go up into the base of the branch where the branch meets the trunk of the tree, and it will uh, saturate that section or portion of the tree limb. Also, you can find it sometimes in a stump, or most of the time in the stump too, I should say. Because the stump will, all the sap will come to the, that section of the stump and impregnate it. So if you've got pine trees around you, and they've been cut down, you can usually find this in them. Alright. I'm 
getting it. The uh, wax is starting to set up a lot more now. I'm getting it pretty full. There we go. It's quite a bit off in there. It's about half of one of my jars. But as you know, it doesn't take me long to make more. Stick a little piece right there in the center. Maybe take some cotton. That might be the thing. Make my own little wick. Put this cotton right down in the center. Now I could start it faster. It's so thick with Maya dust that the cotton didn't want to go down in there. But there we go. That's pretty good. We'll see how that works out. Try and level it out a little here. That might turn out to be pretty neat. We'll see. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty heavy. So that might work out to be pretty good. We'll see you in a test here in a minute. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.